Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know I've been gone for way too long. I've been wanting to film. I've just been super, super busy trying to plan a bunch of different things, working, getting back into the gym. I had a little bit of a medical scare, which turns out I'm okay, but was kind of freaky. Um, but yeah, hopefully this week I'll be able to get back into the groove of things and start uploading more regularly for you. But today I wanted to do my February favorites. I believe this is my very first favorites video. So this is going to be, I have quite a few products so it's kind of like January and February combined because I was going to do a January, I just didn't get around to it. So I have quite a few things. I'm going to go ahead and jump right in. I know this is something that everybody has shown in their videos, everybody's talked about it because it really truly is amazing. This is the Kat Von D Shade Light Palette. Um, it is a contour and highlight palette. If you're not familiar, it's got six shades, three for contouring, three for highlighting. Um, I have used these two and these two. I haven't used either one of these. They're a little dark for me, but these are seriously amazing. They blend out like a dream. Um, I really like this one because it's more sort of a cool tone and this one to set under the eyes is, it's just great. Um, what I like to use to set it with is this e.l.f. blush brush. So I'll just take a little bit on there and it's super pigmented, look. I don't even want to waste it, but you just get a little on there and just pop it right under your eyes. It's the perfect shade. This is the perfect brush. It's like $3. And yeah, I've just love, been loving these two so, so much. I don't think that I've used any other contour powders since I've got this and normally under my eyes to set my concealer I use the Ben Nye Cameo Powder. I haven't used that since I purchased this either so I definitely recommend this if you're looking for um, some contour shades or highlighting. This palette is seriously the bomb. And then something else from Kat Von D that I purchased around Christmas time. Um, I have never used any Kat Von D products until I got this palette. This was limited edition, so I don't think it's available anymore. This is the Star Studded Eyeshadow Palette. It's got all these shades in it. I originally wasn't going to purchase it, um, but Sephora put it on sale for like $28 or something, so I had to buy it. And I really, really like it. I've heard people say they don't like it or it's kind of mixed. There are a few shades that are kind of iffy, which to me is pretty normal for any palette, but overall I really, really enjoy it. The shadows that I use for my like go-to look lately are all from this palette. They're um, mainly neutral shades, like these two here. And then this orange is just amazing. So I was actually planning to do that video today as well, but I just wanted to do something simple since I'm just gonna be washing it off anyways and going to the gym. So I think I'm gonna do that one on Thursday. So if you're interested to see um, a look using this palette, well I did one already, but if you're interested to see another look using this palette, and my go-to look, Stay tuned because I should have it up later this week. And then just to sort of keep theme for the eyes, I picked up this Duo Brush On Lash Glue a while ago. This to me is, I mean, I've only used a few different kinds of lash glue, but you can get this anywhere. It's 10 million times better than the Squeeze Tube Duo. I used to use the white and blue. My eyes water a lot, my lashes would come off like halfway through the day. That doesn't happen with this. This is super, super strong. It dries a lot faster than the other kind, so you don't have to wait as long to put your lashes on. And they stay on all day. You don't have to worry about them coming off. It's great. Pick it up anywhere for like five bucks. It's awesome. For 
I guess skin or face. I've really been loving the Smashbox Photo Finish Pore Minimizing Primer. Um, I've never used a Smashbox primer before this. I have tried a lot of different primers. I've tried Tarte, which I do really like the Tarte primers. Um, I've tried, I think they have three. I've tried all three of those. I've tried the Professional. I've tried um, Baby Skin from the drugstore. I think there's a few more, but this one I've been loving, loving, loving. This one is great. What I do is just take a small amount, put it between my fingers, and I'll just sort of like push it in to my pores where they're the largest, like in this area because I have a lot of scarring. So I'll push it in first and then I'll kind of rub it out so it helps to fill those pores a lot better. And yeah, I've just been loving it so I definitely recommend this, especially if you have oily skin or large pores. For foundation, I have been loving this CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous. I originally was going to purchase a different CoverGirl foundation, but when I went to buy it, I saw Makeup by Tiffany D do a review on this, so I decided to pick it up and I'm so glad I did. Um, back in the day, one of my favorite foundations used to be Colorstay, Revlon Colorstay, and the color stay whipped which I still like I still have them but for me I just find that I don't know they sort of really like suck out all the moisture of my skin so when I take them off my skin is super dry and they it really sinks into my pores and I don't like that like I got bad skin as it is I've always had acne issues I don't need makeup to sink down into my pores. This doesn't do that. It has really good coverage. It lasts a very long time. It really keeps your face looking, I don't want to say matte, but it's definitely not um, dewy. I am wearing it today. I don't have highlighter on, so it's kind of like a natural finish, and it really does keep it like that for hours. Like I don't find myself having to touch up a lot with this. And it, it's very lightweight. It doesn't feel heavy and it doesn't clog your pores. It doesn't sink into your pores. So this stuff is great and it's like six or seven bucks from the drugstore. For lips, um, I've really been loving this color from the new Milani Matte Lipsticks. This is Naked and it's just a like brownie nude. It's this color here. And I do have a few other colors from the MAC collection, however, I haven't worn them yet. This is the only one I've worn, but I really do like it. I don't think that they're super, super drying like a lot of matte lipsticks are, and they really do last a long time because they're matte. So if you haven't checked out the Milani mattes yet, check them out because they are great. Now keeping the theme with the matte lipsticks. I picked these up from eBay because I saw a few videos on them. They are called the Mino Long Lasting Lip Glosses. I have like seven of them, so if you would like me to, I can do a whole video on them for you. They say that they're long lasting lip glosses, but they're similar to like the Kat Von D, the Sephora, the Anastasia. This is them. So, I mean, it's, it's pretty much the same thing. They've got the little doe foot applicator. They're liquid and they dry down to a matte finish and they do not move. This is one of them here. It's already dried down. You can see. It's not going anywhere. And when you put them on your lips, it really is crazy how long they last. My only issue with them is that you can't rub your lips together. If you do, they'll stick. And none of the color really comes off, but it's just weird like how sticky it is when you put your lips together. But as long as you don't do that, you're fine and it'll, la it'll seriously last you all day. I ate, I drank, none of it came off. And they're like a dollar to three dollars on eBay. So they really are great. I think they have like 36 colors or something. I really do want to get some more. but. Yeah, if you'd like me to do a video on those, I can do that. Just let me know. Now for the last sort of beauty product, I have two nail 
products, I guess. The Glisten and Glow Top Coat and the Sally Hansen Hard as Nails. This is the color that I have on my nails. I'm not... Now when I say Sally Hansen Hard as Nails, I, I don't mean this exact color. Just this uh, formula or line of her polishes in general. Now I have used this Glisten and Glow HK Girl Top Coat for a long time. I do really like it. Unfortunately, it is only available online, um, but it's only like six or seven bucks. But it is like the best top coat I've ever used. However, on Valentine's Day, I painted my nails with one of the Sally Hansen Hard as Nails polishes in a pink. It was like a baby pink and it didn't chip. It didn't chip for like a week and a half. And I work in a warehouse. I'm constantly lifting boxes. I work 12 hour shifts. I'm always using my hands. My, I'm telling you, my nail polish is always chipping. Sometimes I have chipped nail polish forever because I think, what is the point? It's just gonna chip again. But this stuff seriously amazed me. I mean, like I said, my nail polish didn't chip for like a week and a half, so this combination is just great. It's like a gel manicure. So I repainted my nails with another hard as nails, put the HK Girl on top, and I'm going to see if it works again or if it was just like a fluke thing. So I will let you know. Now for my last few things that, that are kind of random, um, my husband and I have gotten into the gym. Lord knows I need it. Um, I'm just so glad he's doing it with me this time. It's so much easier if you have a partner and if you come home and your house isn't full of junk food because everybody else is eating it. So now he's doing it with me. We've gotten rid of all of our junk food, all of our soda. So we're doing good so far. And I've really, really been loving my polar watch, my FT4. Um, you can get all different models of these. I got this last year, I think last year for my birthday. It's a heart monitor, heart rate monitor, heart rate monitor, heart monitor, I don't know, watch. So it comes with the band. So you put this around your um, I don't know, chest. It goes right underneath your bust, like under your sports bra. And then Obviously it communicates with the watch, it tells you your heart rate, you can set like a target heart rate zone, you put in your weight, your age, and it calculates how many calories you're burning. So it's pretty cool, kind of gives you, um, kind of gives me anyways a little bit of motivation. Let me show you one of my, they're called training files. So this is from two weeks ago, this tells you I don't know if you'll be able to see it. I worked out for an hour and 32 minutes. I burned 1,039 calories. My average heart rate was 165. My max was 190. Yes, that's why I don't run, because I literally feel like I'm dying. And then it tells you I was in my target zone for 30 minutes of that time. So I just really, really like this. It helps motivate me. I don't like doing all of the counting calories and putting everything that you eat into programs. To me that just takes too much time with everything else that's been going on lately. I really just don't have the time to do that. So this is just quick and easy. It's already set up for you. All you have to do is press the start button when you go to the gym and you're good to go. For me it just helps me like, yes I worked out for an hour and a half, I burned a thousand calories. or you know, whatever, and you can try to up it, or you can see the difference, like, I was telling my husband with the first week that we went, like that day was the, I think the first day that we went, I would get on the treadmill and within like five minutes, my heart rate was at like 190. Now, only in like a few weeks, I get on the treadmill and I'm jogging or I'm at like a super incline and I can barely get it up to 160. So you can see the difference in your, I guess, fitness level because 
technically that's your fitness level. It's taking your body a lot longer to reach that target heart rate, so you're having to work harder. So it's kind of cool and it's just motivating. And like I said, they have different models and they do different things. So definitely check them out if you're planning on getting into the gym or if you're already into the gym. Now my last thing is pretty random, but I love them. They are wax cubes. So if you have like a wax melter, I'm not really sure what they're called, or a wax warmer, you um, they're just like cubes. You pop them out and you put them in there. They melt and of course it's like burning a candle. They're scented and your whole house smells wonderful. Um, now I love the Bath & Body Works candles. I still have some, but a lot of these are very very similar to Bath & Body Works and in my opinion they work better than Bath & Body Works. They smell better, they smell stronger, they last longer and these are only two dollars a pack and you can mix and match them which is cool. So I have four different scents here. All of them are fall scents. I need to go get some more more springy ones but what I was doing for fall was I was taking coffee cake swirl and pumpkin spice and putting like one square of each or two squares of the pumpkin, one square of the coffee cake swirl and um, then you get this really good like cinnamon pumpkin smell and they have one if you really like the frosted cupcake candle from Bath & Body Works I highly highly recommend the Sensationals brand. This brand here is my favorite. Walmart has their own, Better Homes and Gardens has theirs. This brand is by far my favorite. Um, they have one just called Cupcake. The best smelling ever. Way outdoes the Bath & Body Works candle. Every time I've had it going and somebody comes over they're like, oh my gosh what are you making? This smells so good. And they have one, if you like Tiki Beach, that's like my favorite summer scent from Bath & Body Works. They have one that's very, very, very similar to Tiki Beach. I mean, it's almost exactly the same. And like I said, they are $2 a piece. And they smell so good. Right now I have the, I think, Vanilla Caramel Spice going. My whole house smells like maple syrup. And it'll linger for... A couple days so they're totally totally worth it if you have a warmer go out pick them up if you haven't tried them yet if you don't you can get a warmer at Michael's use a 50% off coupon get it for way cheaper then go buy some I'm telling you you won't be disappointed they're totally totally worth it your house will smell amazing and everybody will ask you what you're using so that is it for my favorites I know it was kind of a lot of stuff um, Hopefully you guys stuck through the whole video. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I really hope you enjoyed it and hopefully, like I said, I can get back into the groove of things and start uploading for you more regularly. Uh, thank you again for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.